guys, so today I am back with a hair tutorial that some of you guys really did want to see and this was the same hairstyle, well actually the same hair technique that I used in my thrifting video. Um, I'll link that down below if you wanted to see it, but some of you guys wanted to see how I did my hair and this is pretty much it. Um, my hair just, you know, have grown out a lot ever since then and I got the side shave and all that so it looks different but the technique is still the same, you're still using the same hair curler um the same you know everything else and you just curl it it just kind of looks a little bit different um because you know the hair length but this is pretty much it. it is so pretty i love doing this hair i've been doing this almost every single day ever since i kind of found out the way to do it you know this hair is so effortless i've gotten a lot of compliments on it it's just i feel like this hairstyle just you know how hair can sometimes just brighten up your day because it just looks nice when your hair is nice, you feel good, you know, you know all that good stuff. This hair will fit all year round in my opinion. It looks great in the winter, summer, spring, what am I missing? Fall. Um, you could match it with a beanie if you want to do a beret, a beret, a beret, um, a fitted, anything. You could even tie your hair up after this and it still looks nice. It has that effortless kind of like waves to it. So I think I talked a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it useful. And I forgot to say this, but I know my hair is sectioned off really differently. It's very far off to the left and I have no hair hair. But you don't have to have like a side shave or anything just to do this hair. You can have like a regular hair. Like if your hair is parted, you know, somewhere middle whatever you can still do this hair um style and it'll still look really really pretty so yeah let's just move on to the tutorial so you are going to need a curling iron the one that i'm going to be using is from some japanese brand or i don't know what it is but you just want to set it up to the highest that you can go up to because my hair is pretty thick so i can go up to i don't know how high it is but i think that's about like 300 um but yeah just make sure that your hair is going to be okay with it because you don't want your hair to burn off like the girl that you know curled her hair and then the whole thing came off actually i kind of think that that was uh just a set up but since she was on ellen i don't know it might have been real I don't know, that was just kind of weird, like how can you just burn your whole piece of hair off? I don't get that. Alright, but anyway, this is a 1 inch curler and I feel like a 1 inch hair curler works the best because if you have long hair or if you have shorter hair, shoulder length hair, whatever hair you have, I feel like the 1 inch definitely does um, its job and creates the most beautiful effortless waves and it just it looks really really nice. If you use a one and a half inch, it's definitely too um, big of a curl. Um, I feel like the one inch actually creates waves instead of curls, so this is what I'm going to be using. You are also going to need any kind of clip just to kind of section off your hair because you are going to work in sections. Okay, so the hair that I'm starting off with, I just uh, came back home from school in the morning. I did uh, wave it. Um, I parted my hair differently because I am going to not show my side shave anymore but I feel like this wavy hairstyle looks a lot better with it so I'm just gonna show it now but yeah my hair is a little waved it was a little crazy because I flipped it over but yeah that's not the point I did not show it in this video but I really do suggest you guys to use a heat tamer I just ran out of heat tamer so I can't use that unfortunately but yeah you want to protect your hair at all times so I am going to section off my hair now I'm going to section it from my ear to ear Since I have a side shave, I like to scoop all my hair over to one side, so that is how I'm going to work with it. So you just want to take your one inch hair curler, take at least, I don't know how big of a section this is. I, I guess this is one inch of a section, is it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think this is one inch, around one inch. But you want to take like small sections just so you can create that really nice weight. So my iron is um, with a clip, but I don't use it like that. Uh, the best way is to use a clipless iron or just not use this thing at all. But what you want to do is just wrap your hair around it, around the thing, and you just want to wrap it really quick. Let it sit for like, what, 10 seconds or something. You may have to do it longer depending on how fine your hair is. Mine is pretty thick and coarse, so it holds the um, heat pretty well. So you just want to leave it on there for about 10 seconds or you're done. And then when you let go, you can pull it a little bit just to kind of loosen it up. And here you go. 
if you can see that and so this is your little wave you can see that and you just want to do this all around your head it's really really easy one step now I'll show you one more time before I fast forward it okay so I'm just gonna explain this a little bit further when you wrap your hair around you don't want to flatten the strand of hair and then wrap it around because that actually creates um, a curl this right now what you're doing it's just creating waves and what you want to do is just wrap it and when you're wrapping it you kind of twist it also so you don't really make the heat kind of like disperse throughout the whole strand of hair so what you get is some waves oh my gosh i hope i'm explaining this right okay so now you are going to section it from temple to temple Okay, so we're moving on to our third section, and what I like to do is separate the top because of the fact that my top section is really thick. So, what I like to do is just put down the third section, the top section, and go right into the middle and take this hair and clip it to the side because we have this bottom layer of the top to work with and I just feel like it creates a better kind of like wave and just it just looks better in my opinion since it's the top part you don't have to leave it on there for too long because you're gonna get something really 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 defined so you just want to leave it on there for like six seconds I guess what I like to do depends on what kind of look you're going for I want it to be a little bit more crazy or wavier so what you want to do is if you want that you can start closer to your roots if not you can start a little lower some people like the top part to be less like not curly um, if you want to go for that then just go a little bit lower like that like at least three inches off your roots this curl again you just want to leave it on for like five seconds and you'll have a really nice wave that looks very natural or if you want to go a little bit crazier you can go from the roots so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys later bye